Hello guys, in this video I will show you one pretty important change in Laravel 11 minor version, how to install Tailwind in Laravel. This has changed, or in fact it became much easier. Now Tailwind is in the core of Laravel Skeleton. Let me show you. So this is the official installation of Tailwind into Laravel and I used to make a recommendation to avoid all those steps to use Laravel Breeze starter kit because part of the starter kit job was configuring that Tailwind with these lines of installation instructions. So default Laravel doesn't have Tailwind config or everything configured for Tailwind. So I remember when Breeze and JustRim were introduced in Laravel 8, there was kind of a pushback from the community, like they removed Bootstrap in favor of Tailwind. But in fact, Laravel by default is or was framework agnostic and Tailwind was installed or configured with starter kits, JustRim or Breeze. Now let me show you what changed in one of the minor Laravel 11 versions in October of 2024. So the default Tailwind CSS documentation lists five steps or six steps to start using CSS classes from Tailwind. But in one of the latest Laravel 11 versions, Taylor submitted this pull request to introduce a new command composer run dev. And with that, Tailwind became the core part of Laravel skeleton. So here are the changes in the package JSON. This wasn't in Laravel 10 or even in Laravel 11 dot something until October 2024. Also for default Laravel, you didn't have configured post CSS, resources CSS, app CSS, and Tailwind config JS. That was not by default, now it is. And with that, the default homepage welcome blade from Laravel project has changed to this. So it used to be that style is hard-coded, Tailwind just hard-coded style in line to use some of the CSS classes from Tailwind. Now it has if statement. So if we do run npm properly with all the compilation steps, then we use vite. Otherwise, still hard-coded. So now, what does it mean in practice that default Laravel new project, all you need to do to run Tailwind is just execute the npm install and npm run dev commands, which is exactly what I will do right now. npm install and npm run dev, it will install all the dependencies and run the Vite server. And if we refresh the default Laravel homepage, it doesn't change, it still works. And as a proof that it's not loading the Tailwind from inline in the welcome blade, let's delete that if else, leave only Vite. And if we refresh, that still works with all the classes from Tailwind. And for example, if we want to change some Tailwind class, let's do something like, yep, here documentation, for example, text Excel, let's change that to 3XL. And if we refresh, we have documentation much larger. So Tailwind now works out of the box with Laravel new or Composer create project without running any starter kits like Breeze or Jetstream. This is in fact one of the messages in that commit by Taylor adds basic Tailwind configuration out of the box, lets you start using Tailwind immediately without installing any starter kit. So yeah, to recap how to use Tailwind in Laravel, just run npm install and npm run dev. Easy. What do you think about this change? To be honest, it went kind of unnoticed in the community, so it means it didn't really bother people that much. It helps people who want to start using Laravel quicker with Tailwind. And again, it comes with the same goal and message that Laravel team has been on, which is quicker to start for anyone with Laravel, even non-PHP developers. So this is part of that thing, I think. However, it may be harder for people who don't want to use Tailwind, who want to use Bootstrap or something else. Now there's an extra effort, extra step to kind of remove Tailwind from Laravel. But is it actually a problem? I don't think so, but let's discuss in the comments below. What do you think? And if you do still use Bootstrap or something else, let me know in the comments what is the use case, what Tailwind doesn't have, or why your preferred choice is easier for your use case. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.